Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do an update guide on War Thunder. My previous guide was like four years ago. So I'm going to do a huge update for this game. Uh, we're going to start with Windows and after that we, go, we will go inside of the game to make sure that you optimize your FPS but also you have a nice image quality. So the first thing that I recommend, write game mode in your search bar. Make sure that you're using the game mode. Like four years ago, game mode was pretty trash. I think I'm not even sure if it was on my guide. But for the past like eight months, game mode now is really good. So I recommend to use it. Um, and it, it will help you with stuttering. And also to make sure that you're not like uh, using too much resources with your windows. Or your, you have like some random updates when you're playing a game. So game mode is pretty cool. Xbox game bar, I really recommend to you. Put this one at off, still causing crashes, stuttering, and stuff like that. So don't use that. And for the capture, go with background recording at off or recorded audio at off. Both should be off. Another thing that I recommend, search for graphics setting in your search bar. You will have something called hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. If you have an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent, uh, if you have that, Click, check it, make sure that it's at on. You will need to restart your computer to, uh, to to make sure it's applied. It will help you with bottleneck with a video card like the 1050, 1060, 1050 Ti, 2060. You can expect a nice 3 to 5% boost with this. So definitely do your update. After that, uh, your driver. So you really need to make sure that you have your, the latest driver. If you have a Radian car, go on the Radian website, just update it. Same thing with NVIDIA. And even Intel, if you have like an integrate GPU on your CPU, go on their website. They have like dedicated software for their GPU. So make sure that you have the latest one. Another thing that I can recommend, and it's kind of new for Radian, it's the super resolution and you have it also for NVIDIA. Uh, the NIS, uh, NVIDIA Image Scaling, or Scaler, whatever. Um, I will give you an, a quick example. You just need to enable this. So for an example, my uh, monitor is a 2K monitor. I'm playing in 2K. But when I go in my game, I put the resolution at 1080p and the software will scale it back to 2K. And with that, I can gain like a nice 15 to 20% boost in my FPS. So it's pretty huge. So if you're playing 4K, 2K, even 1080p, you can do it, but it will not be great because you will need to uh, put the resolution of your game at 720p. But still, it's pretty amazing to gain uh, FPS. I have two different guides on my YouTube channel. You can definitely go and see them. I have one for Radian and one for NVIDIA. It's pretty much the same quality for the upscaling. And uh, they have the same feature also, both video card. Another thing that I recommend is your energy plan. So right energy, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Super important. Don't use like power saver or order random custom plan. Normally with a desktop computer, you will not have this issue. It will be uh, by default at balance or high performance. But if you're uh, playing on a laptop, sometimes when you plug in the wall and you unplug, sometimes they are just staying randomly at power saver. Also, you can write energy to open your power plan. Go to power option. And uh, normally, by default, if you're using a desktop computer, you will see balance or high performance. Uh, both are good, honestly. But people who are playing on the laptop, sometimes, sometimes uh, when you plug and unplug your PC, it will stay at power saver or even another like plan from your manufacturer, like a Dell or Asus or whatever. So super important to use something like balance or, or high performance. So make sure that you're using all the resources from your computer and you don't like run at 50% of the uh, maximum power from your computer. So super important to do that. Also, I have a software called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. I will put uh, the link on my video description. So it's pretty easy. If, if you're struggling with your RAM, you just have 4 gig of RAM or, or 8 gig of RAM. This software will automatically purge your standby list. So for example, here I have a total system memory of 32 gig. And in the free memory, I need to put normally divide by 2, so 16. I'm going to stop it for now. So for example, if you have like 8 gig of RAM, you just put like 4,000 like this. If you have 16,000 gig uh, meg of RAM, you can put 8,000 meg here. So you just like adapt it and depending on your total system memory. In my case, I will put 16,000 because I have 32,000 meg of RAM. I just start and the pure standby list will do it automatically. You can also say 
uh, start uh, intelligence and by list uh, minimize. So you just do that and it helps a lot with stuttering. If you have issue with stuttering and also you have issue because you don't have a lot of RAM, it will help you. One more thing, I have some dedicated guide on how to overclock your GPU and even CPU. So I recommend to look at them. It can help you for your FPS. So now let's go on War Thunder. So now inside of the game, so you have a lot of different parameters in this game. It's pretty crazy. You can like the game can look like Minecraft and also it can look very great. So it really depends. What is your goal? Do you want like more FPS? Are you struggling with your FPS? Do you want more visibility also? Or you want the full experience with all your um, graphic at maximum? So it really depends. So first of all, make sure that you're playing like native resolution. So for me, it's 2K. Also, make sure that your mode, you're playing full screen super important and even if you want to use the super resolution from radian you will need to be full screen and also i'm not a fan of v-sync because my uh monitor is free sync so if you have free sync or g-sync monitor uh just go with free sync at off uh you just want to 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 do that uh if you're getting too much tiering because you don't have free sync or g-sync and you don't put v-sync at on uh definitely go with on with v-sync it will add some input lag in your game but uh, you will not have the tiering. So it really depends on what you want to do. Uh, for DLSS, if you have uh, an NVIDIA card, uh, I recommend to test in it. It's pretty good. You can expect a nice 15 to 20 percent boost in your FPS. And it's even better than the image scaling from NVIDIA. So if you, uh, you were about to use the uh, image scaling and you have an RTX card, I recommend to use DLSS over the image scaling. And if you have like a card without RTX, uh, ray tracings just go with uh, um, the image scaling at on anisotropy i recommend something like honestly everybody can like run 8x or 16x it really depends like if you're playing on a very old computer 12 years ago something like that go with 4x but this should not be a problem for anti-aliasing i recommend to go with fxaa you will have a decent boost versus the taa and even the taa i feel like it's a bit blurry when i play this game so go with FXAA. Don't use the SSAA here. Uh, NVIDIA reflects low latency. You can definitely uh, activate it if you have the uh, possibility. It will help a little bit with your um, input lag. After that, texture quality, go with maximum. If you have 4, gig, 4 gig and more of VRAM on your video card. If you have 3 gig, go with medium. And if you have less than 3 gig, something like 2 gig, go with low. Shadow Ray Quality, this one will give you a lot of FPS, so really depend where you are on your um, FPS, how much FPS that you want. If I compare very high to minimum, you can expect a nice 22% boost in your FPS. So me, I recommend to go with low. Uh, even medium, if you want to uh, increase a little bit your image quality, the game looks very flat when you uh, remove NBN inclusion and shadow, so it really depends on what you want to do. Effect resolution, if you're getting a lot of like uh, mini lag stuttering when you're fighting, definitely this one go with low. It will not like boost your FPS, but it will help a lot when you're fighting with all those effects. So super important to go with low if you're struggling with this. Render resolution, I recommend to go to max. So it's 100%, one to one. You don't want to lower this. Your game will look blurry. Uh, you honestly just use stuff like image scaler and stuff like that. For the rest, if you want like pure performance i recommend to go with minimum for everything over here it will help you a lot like another 25 to 30 percent boost in your fps but it's a slider so just like go with whatever you want to do uh if you want like better visual go maybe something like 50 percent everywhere uh you will see that some are giving you like are taking more fps some doesn't do a big difference but stuff like particle density is pretty like it's taking a lot of resources um tree range also everything that will even the cloud cloud is pretty important also it's taking a lot of fps so just do some testing depending on your computer it's tough to say this is the perfect setting but for sure if you have you want like pure visibility and pure performance just go with low with everything water quality i recommend to go with low global uh, illumination quality same thing low uh physic quality this one if you have a like a very bad cpu it will help you to go with the minimum but again depending on your computer where you are what you need everything should be <laughs> taken in, in consideration you have a lot of options in this game so it's a uh, tough to say just go with this uh yeah so this is pretty much it 
after that cockpit mirror reflection quality this one is pretty laggy on my laptop so i recommend something like maybe one quarter of the bar so don't go too crazy with this it can like uh get, take a lot of resources from your computer so not too crazy about it for the rest here i recommend just to put everything at no to have like pure performance and make sure everything is running great again really depend on what you want to do here if do you want like better image quality uh depend on on your computer so this, this is cool like from a game like that that you have a lot of different options for your graphic setting because you have a lot of flexibility on what you want to do versus performance versus your image quality so this is pretty much it so that's about it guys you have a lot of option here you have dlss you have image scaling so if you have any question about this game and how to perform better or issue that you have with it just comment in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace